my name is Levi James. I'm an athletic. This is my friend Taz. She's coming in to do some jump rope training today. Taz, tell me how you feeling. Pretty excited, pretty oh, nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the excited one, not so much. Nervous, definitely. Nothing to be nervous about. So, Taz came to me with a question. She likes to box, she likes to jump rope. What she wants to know is how to increase and make the intensity a little bit better for her jump rope workouts, which is exactly what we're going to do today. So any of you guys out there who love to jump rope, if you call it skipping, we call it jumping rope, this is going to be for you. What we're going to establish right here is we call it our baseline test. So unraveling our jump ropes, making sure first we size them properly. Tash, show them how we do that. We're going to step on them with one foot. Mm -hmm. Sure. Both hands up. Hey, yo. Coming up towards the shoulder. Okay? So I like my rope a little bit shorter. I've been jumping rope for quite a while, so my proficiency is up. I can move the rope pretty fast. Taz, she's pretty good at jump rope as well. She's obviously a little bit taller than me, so we're going to make sure that her handles end up just at the top of her shoulder there, so that as we go through the revolutions, the rope is going to be moving true and fast according to her height and ability. Okay, my friend, we're going to start with the rope behind the knees. All right? The first step we're going to work on is we call just the basic bounce step. So, what we're trying to get is three revolutions per second. Because as you notice, as she started going faster, she started getting a bit more puffed out at the end of it. Now we know how we can increase our intensity for a short period of time, just by counting the reps, by being more specific and more proficient with our accuracy with the jump rope. All right, you ready for the next one? All right. Okay. So we always want to get a little bit faster with the jump rope. So in order to do that, we're going to take away from two feet at the same time. We're going to go to an alternating foot step. This is not to be confused with a heel raise or pulling the heel behind. You want the knee to come up in front of the body just as if you're marching. So before you even start, just bring the knees up, just like that. You can jump, jump. Okay, nice and easy. Good, yeah, keep going. So you just here, I should just take the rope support to the side of you. Super, super. Just come back here a little bit so everybody can see. Nice one. Okay, keep going. straight ahead. So notice that knees are coming up straight in front. It's a relatively comfortable pace. We're not pulling the heels up behind, we're not wasting any energy. And the feet, again, are just coming off the ground about three or four inches up and off. Okay, you can stop and just take right. So that's exactly what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do with the rope. What this is gonna do, it's gonna allow you to spin the rope a bit faster. So the difference is, if you're thinking about this being a sort of a two foot jump, now we're thinking about a sprint down the block, okay? This is how we're also increasing the intensity. Are you ready? <laughs> this one's a little bit different for the counter. Okay. 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 Same start position. Okay. You're just gonna start with your left foot up. Your right hand, yes. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. So you're gonna start with your left foot up, just about as high as you would for the alternating foot step. As you go over, you're just gonna count the right leg. When you're done, you double that, and that becomes your score. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Foibles. Okay, so again, let's just practice. Before we do the counting, so you start with the foot completely off the ground. Okay, and just do a couple jumps. Just do a couple jumps. Just jump through. One, two, three, four. Good. And again, always thinking about the knees coming up in front. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, so I'm gonna count for you so you can just focus on your, on your form. So if you do have a training partner, this is a good way to do it. Sometimes the counting does get a little confusing. Also, it just gives you a little bit more of a reference point, too. Okay, you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna count just the right side, then we're gonna double that score. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, All right, okay. Ready, ready? In. <laughs> Four, three, two, ready, count with me. Now let's go.
Hey, pretty great. Nice! Uh, uh -huh. All right. So we did two things there. Not only did you increase your intensity, you broke the threshold 2.8. You are know, two times! Thank you, don't leave me hanging. So again, while she's breaking and while she's resting, we notice that instantly her intensity increased because she was able to do more repetitions. In fact, she broke the three rep barrier, meaning in, nine, in 30 seconds she got 90 reps. If you do the math, that's three reps per second. You can see, you'll see she's still catching her breath. You can see instantly in 30 seconds how we can increase your intensity in the jump rope. For the ball. We do each one of these three times so we can get a better average. This is a basic test that you do every like three to six weeks, depending on how often you're jumping rope. You ready to go? So again, once she got to that three rep per second range, look at her, man, she's all puffed up. It doesn't mean she's out of shape. This is what you do when you're pushing yourself to that limit. The thing is, say you're running, you're doing a jog, right? It's a jog, and then you do a sprint. You're probably not gonna want to sprint for three minutes. It's exactly the same thing with jump rope. Once you get that intensity up and get your speed up, your efficiency increases, boom! Now you can increase your VO2 max, and now you get the maximum effect of this fantastic exercise regimen. Okay? We're gonna do one more of these. Oh my god, look at this, one more. Okay, there's one more. Woo, that was one hell of a workout, man. And now that you know the appropriate intensity of which jump, it's gonna improve all of your workouts from this point on. If you want more tips, more workouts like this, leave a like and a comment down below. Click on any one of our social media outlets here and keep subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. I'm your man, Jumping Rope, with you by James. Till next time.